So under step 10 in the build, uh, we basically have to create our main gun turret for the battle wagon which will fit onto the roof uh, once we've glued that on. So here we have our complete mess of parts that we need for this step. Um, we've chosen the zap gun just because it looks kind of cool, it's basically like a las cannon. Um, it's got some cool little details on it, I quite like this little gun myself. Um, we have all our side panels, we have the base panel which will take the gun. Uh, we have the top panel with the commander's hatch on the top there. Big large front panel, uh, two hinges for our gun mount. Uh, we have the rear panel, or sorry, one of the other, aye, the rear panel, and we have the periscope as well, typical good old funny looking periscope, and of course the Orky symbol to go on the top of that. Um, so we'll slide the majority of these pieces out of the way and we'll choose what we're going to do first. So we're going to build our zap gun first, basically two or three parts to this and then we'll mount that into the base of the turret. So we'll take one half of the gun and just glue right along the edges, all the flat surfaces. And we'll take the other half of the gun and that will just press together. make sure that all these parts are sitting nice and tightly together there. It may be orky but we don't need gaps. And the very end of the gun we just need this little handle. So just glue onto the end and sit into place. So we'll set that down. We'll bring in the two uh, mounts for the gun. We'll also bring in the base for the gun. And what we need to do now at this stage is basically just slot these on to the gun. Well, they're a bit loose fitting, so what we're going to do is glue them into the turret, into the base of the turret first, using these L shapes as the pattern. We'll glue that one in first. We'll then roughly loosely slot this one in to place. Press it down. Hopefully line the whole lot up and everything should sit into place like so. That will allow our gun to move up and down, not very uh, firmly but hey, it looks alright to me. We could, with a bit of super glue and a bit of time, we could add some super glue to uh, the front of the hinges and we could push this part together and then super glue those parts in that would give us a more steady elevation and depression on the gun to allow us to actually pose it but for now that's okay the way it is so we'll now take uh, our front panels our two side panels here and one of our other pieces our other side panel and we'll take the front panel first and we'll glue that into place so if we just move the gun out of the way there for a moment and we'll just glue along the step shape and then press the whole lot in like so. It would actually look kind of cool if it was just open like that, have a little grot sitting on it, kind of funky. Um, we'll then take this side panel which has this little piece on the front which will take uh, one of the grenade launchers that sh that's uh, also going to be glued on in a moment. So we'll continue just to glue round. Yeah, about halfway around that bulge piece. And we've got to be quite gentle with this as we're working with large flat pieces of plastic that have only just been glued together so sometimes things can decide to fall apart on us. Now if we pick the, the turret up and on the inside that corner panel line just run the glue down there just to make sure this part is nice and sturdy. We'll then run the glue further around to 
to about there and also run it down that side and take our rear panel and sort of quarter half panel and fix them into place as well there like so and take our final side panel and we're just going to glue along again that bottom edge we'll fit the panel first before we glue anywhere else so with that panel in on the join lines again run the glue down the inside this will keep it nice neat and tidy and down on the front as well so we should have something when the top of the turret is placed on this should be quite a sturdy little piece hopefully if it falls off at some point it shouldn't break it should be nice and tight so then take our top panel and we'll also add our funky little periscope once that's glued down so we add glue to wherever the turret's going to be and we'll glue on the back here as well wherever this panel is going to sit and we just set it into place like so Make sure there's no excess starting to build up. Like so. We'll then take our funky little periscope. We'll add our big orky icon to it, which we'll glue onto this slot here. which then gives us the sort of Eye of Mork or Eye of Gork uh, look and feel to it there. It's quite a... I just can't take Orcs seriously. It's just quite comical sometimes what they come up with. Well then, slot that down in like so. Have it off to the side just for badness. And then add more glue there just to make sure that, that part is nice and secure. Like so. We'll then take our two little grenade bits and they will just glue onto either side of the turret on these little circular parts. So we'll just add some glue to each of those. And on each one, we're just going to add a grenade. Let's have them much like that. I'm just going to put the short one to the top, it looks kind of cool that way. And round on the other side as well. I'll just add some more glue to that. Just make sure that's in okay. So with the turret pretty much complete, we'll now move on a bit further. So our next step along we have a big shooter to apply. Um, it also has a little grot crew member that we're going to put in. It's just, you know, another comical little thing in it. Always more guns is better. More DACA, obviously. So we'll get on with that. So the parts for the turret. We have the base plate. We have the side plates top of the turret, head for the grot, head, uh, shoulders for the grot, the gun mount for the front, the big shooter barrel and the crew hatch. So we're going to take the top of the turret first and we're going to dry fit our little grot crew member in just to see what way he fits. So he fits sliding in from underneath the panel it's just so that his shoulders are visible there and we're just going to glue underneath a little run of glue just underneath him there just to fix him into place nice and se securely we'll then just glue his head on which will just slot in on top there and as angry as he is it's just comical to see a grot 
It always is. So the next couple of steps along, we're going to have to start building our turret, obviously. So on the front of our turret, which is going to be here, we have our two side panels which are going to take the gun mount, and they're just going to glue in along here and along here. Like so. We'll then also add our gun mount. Press that in without getting glue in our fingers, which is a bit too late for that. And we'll then fit the other side of the turret in, like so. So we don't have to glue that in, that's going to be able to move up and down a little bit. Uh, We'll take the top panel now as well and just glue that down. So just a dab of glue on each bit. So there's not much travel in the little gun barrel, but that doesn't matter. It's only a little gun barrel. So speaking of gun barrels, we'll just glue that in now as well. And glue it with his little iron sights to the top. Just hold that firmly for a couple of moments to let the glue take. Like so. So we'll then glue the back panel of the turret in as well. And that just along there along that line. And the back panel should just quite literally slot into place. Exactly like that. We'll then have our little crew hatch, which is going to be lying open. I'm just going to apply the glue to the top here. And that will just sit off on the back. Line it up a bit better, like so. So there's one little grot turret. And with that step complete, we'll move on. So under step 12, uh, we have an orc manning a grabber claw here to build, which will also be mounted onto the vehicle somewhere. So we'll get on with that. So here we have all the pieces that we need now for this uh, part of the build. You can see we have the cupola, uh, which will mount the main arm for the claw. We have the two pieces for the claw itself, and we have our hapless crew member. Don't know why he's hapless, but he is definitely a crew member of some description. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue the claw together. Now the claw will glue, hopefully in one way, in one position. Uh, it has slots on it there so that we know exactly how things are going to go together. So we just line things up. Like so. So then, with that down, we'll glue the arm for the uh, grabber onto the cupola here. So we just add some glue along to that little right angle sort of slot there, and around that top little hydraulic ram. Lining it all up. And just a matter of pressing it into place like that. So while we're waiting for those bits of glue to set, we'll then build our crew member. So he has one arm holding his controls, head with the helmet, and an arm pointing. So we'll just take the glue, add a drop to the side there on his shoulder, and place that control arm in. Now we can dry fit that arm, or we can dry fit the body in, so that we know the position of the arm there. As you can see, that's going to line up with a little square piece just off to the side of the claw. 
So we need to pull him back out again, slide out to the side. We'll then glue in his other arm, which is a big pointy arm. So we'll just adjust his point, the direction of his pointing, just to be straight ahead. And we'll glue the head on, looking in the direction of where he's pointing. much like that. So then we'll glue him in to our little piece here where he's supposed to sit. And we'll hold that piece down and we'll just add a decent amount of glue to the base there and add some in to where his control stick's going to sit. We'll then just set him down and press him into place. Just readjusting the pose slightly. Until he's in looking like that. And then the final little piece is going to be to glue our twisted looking grabber on. And we'll just push the pieces together. like so. So with that step complete we'll now move on a bit further. So the next step along we're up to step 13. This is basically a continuation of the turret where we're actually finalizing all the pieces we're putting onto the turret. So we have a cupola uh, with a commander and a pintle mounted gun to put up with him. See so here we have our small multitude of parts that we need. Uh, to build our commander and his cupola. So we have the base plate, uh, we have the top of the cupola where the hatch and the gun will go, we have the hatch itself, a pair of arms uh, for our commander who's going to be looking through some sort of binoculars, a uh, mount for the gun, uh, the front of the binoculars which is quite a comical little orky twist on them, we have the gun, ammunition belt and we have the head for the commander himself. So what we need to do now is we're just going to try and dry fit a few bits and pieces. We're going to dry fit the cupola together and then we're going to see how the commander sits in. This would decide whether we need to glue him in before we put other parts on or not. So that's fine. Uh, if we also look, our gun mount is going to go off the front here. What we'll do now is we'll glue these two pieces together and then we'll build the gun mount. We'll just run the glue right the way around this. And then line our parts up and press them together. And just make sure we don't have too much excess glue lying about there. So we'll then take uh, the base pintle piece for the gun mount. Um, the gun mount will just slot into that piece, oh, wherever it's most securely going to fit. Pretty much there. Uh, we just make a couple of little adjustments to that. That'll be fine. So then we're also going to glue our hatch on as well, which is going to go into this large hinge. So it's obviously going to be glued open because we're going to have the commander visible. So we'll just add a large amount of glue there. And just press that down into the hinge. We'll have it sort of half open. You know, not completely open if we can allow it to stay open just a little bit. Like that. So while we're waiting for the gun mount and all to set, we're just going to build our commander. We'll slide those other pieces out of the way for now. First thing we'll do is take the front of our binoculars set and we'll glue them onto the front of the arms. And that will line up with a little slot, which will slide into place. 
It's giving us quite a nice comical little look there like that. So we'll then take our commander. What we're going to do is glue him into his cupola. We're going to have him so that he's sort of looking off. Uh, the cupola is rotated around, so the gun's going to be sticking out to the side, and the commander's going to be looking sort of maybe in this sort of general direction here. So if we add some glue into the base of our little cupola, and drop our commander in, like so, and then take our arms and we'll apply glue to either shoulder. Like so. And then we'll just apply this head on top there. So we just have a look at that and just make sure those parts are sitting in okay. Might be a little bit tight. That doesn't bother me too much. I have a real tank commander feel to him where he doesn't seem too sure of what's actually going on. So anyway, hopefully the glue has set on this small piece enough for us to uh, mount our gun. And what we need to do is just add our ammunition belt, uh, let me see, to this side here, like so. And we're also going to just clip our gun mount into place. If we can here now, we just have to push quite firmly on the part to get it to snap into place. Now a little hint with this, when you're putting the ammunition belt on, you're putting this mount on, make sure you put the mount on with this flat surface towards where the belt will go on, otherwise that will interfere with the ammunition box. As you can see there's a detail on the other side, and it's not on this side because uh, it will interfere uh, with this part. So speaking of that part, we'll just glue it on now as well. And we'll just push it together. Just hold it for a couple of minutes. Like so. And then we can add glue to the base of this little gun mount. Hopefully everything will now be in the right place. Now if we lift the cupola up, we're just going to have to slot it in like so. And again, we'll just have to hold it firm for a few moments until the glue starts to take to the part. And once that's in, what we can also do is, if the gun's resting on anything, we can add glue to that part and we're going to glue the gun mount solid as well. So everything is as well glued as can be on that part. Well, almost as glued as it can be. I'll just hold that for a few more moments just to make sure that the glue really takes to the part. So with that step complete we'll now move on. So on to our step 14, uh, what we need for this is we're building two side gunners which are going to be mounted on into either side uh, of the crew compartment. We've already built one off camera so we're just going to show you how to build one of these now. So here we have the bits for our Orky gunner. We have the gun itself, the two pieces for the mount, ammunition belt, the two arms which you're firing, head, body, and we also have a bit of a blast shield as well which is going to go on. So what we need to do first is we need to put the arms on. So we'll just glue either side of the shoulder as normal. And the other arm. 
Now at this point, a vital thing to remember is that these arms have got to be level. They've got to be pointing in the same direction. One can't be lower than the other, as both the arms together create uh, the firing handle for the gun. So what we'll do is we'll set him, well, if we put his head on first, and we'll set him to the side and let those arms set before we start to glue the gun on. So we'll move them over to the side. We'll then put everything onto the gun that we need. So once again we have the mount put on. Again remembering the flat surface of the mount goes to the side where the belt, the ammunition belt will go on. Like so. And then underneath that we then need to glue this angular piece, which will go on to that circular notch, which we'll then press together. Like so. We'll then glue our ammunition belt on. Like that. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll glue our little blast shield on as well here. So I'll just glue probably just in front of that circle. And we'll then just slot down on top and just press up against the part. Like so. Now if we just tweak with the alignment of those parts. A little better there. So if we leave those for a few moments, let all these parts set, we'll be able to glue the gun to the gunner and then we'll move, be able to move on. So we've left our little gunner to uh, set. Um, what we're going to do now is just apply the gun to the gunner and then once he's set we'll be able to apply him and his compatriot into the actual model itself. So now what we need to do is take our flat surface area here where the gun's mounted and just run some glue along it. And it's just a simple expedient of just pressing the gun in and just holding it for a couple of moments until it's glued in like that. So with that complete, we'll now move on. So we're on to step 15. We're nearly there. Um, we just have to add some little armoured panels here along the tops of the track here. And then once that's down, we'll be able to put our two side gunners uh, into the crew compartment. So here we have the parts that we need. We have just all these little side panels here, which you're just going to glue on pretty much just randomly. Um, there are size differences here so what we need to do is pick out which bits are going where so if we put a large panel, a slightly smaller panel, a small panel like that and we'll do from uh, largest to smallest uh, along this side here. So what we need to do is take our panels and they're just going to glue here, here and here. So we just take a run of glue underneath there. And we'll apply our first one in. And be careful, hopefully the parts don't fall off as we put them on. It would be my luck. And we'll just add glue to the next one, just along the top. We'll then gently press that one into place as well. Just maybe give it a bit more of a gap there. Like so. And we'll take one of our little single pieces. We'll add some glue to that. And just have it trailing at the back here. 
And there's not an exact science to adding those pieces. It can really go anywhere you want. So same procedure on our other side. Hopefully the parts that we've just glued on don't get interfered as we put, put uh, these panels on. So the same drill as before. We'll take our most chunky looking one and put it to the front. Again, just hold that for a couple of moments until the glue starts to take to it. Like so. Then take our next one. And place it sort of alongside that one. Like so. And we'll take our final one. And same drill. Just a little bit of a gap there, like so. You can see we have those three on that side. And we have the three on that side. So with those pieces down, what we're then going to do is we're going to apply our two side gunners. So we have the one that we just put together, which I'm going to put on that side, and one that we built off camera, who's going to go in first. So we're going to put him in onto this side, and the way it's going to happen is there's a small little rectangular slot, as you can see here. We're going to add some glue to that, and then we're going to add some glue to the base of his feet, and that's the only glue points that we need. Let's hope, anyway. What we're going to do is we just line them all up, make sure that hook goes over the glued area, and then just press him into place, like so. Then same drill on the other side. Just add some glue to there, glue to the bottom of the feet. Line the parts up. Just bend that out a little bit. Keep trying. Like so. And when he's in, press him down. We can rotate him around a little bit to be pointing off to the side. Like so. So we have our two side gunners in, looking nice and menacing. Plenty of guns, and there's plenty more to come in the next step. So our next step along, we're skipping along uh, because the previous steps, a couple of the previous steps are just configuration options. Uh, so we're on to step 17, this is the configuration that we're going to go for. We've got um, our armoured roof to put on over the crew compartment, we have a little grot turret to put down onto the front somewhere, we have our grabber claw which is going to go down here as well, and we have a little bit of an armoured tar, and then we have the turret to put on as well. So we're going to show you all the parts now that we have. And we've also got a few little accessory pieces in this step. Uh, loads of little runes and we've got a couple of horns which we're going to put on somewhere and make the thing look a tad more menacing than it already is. So we'll slide all those to the side for now. We'll wait till the build is basically complete before we start adding those parts. Because then we'll have a better idea of where those parts would actually look good. So we're going to bring our chassis in again. And the first thing we need to do is glue this armoured roof onto it. If I can find a way to show this as best as I can. Uh, da, 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 da. So, let me see what way this is going to go on. This can be one of the more awkward steps in this build. But we should manage alright. So it should sit down like so and should match up with the corners of the vehicle. So it will sit relatively low and give some nice open areas here for the gunners to be quite visible. And what we need to do then is on this part glue along our flat areas and on our corner segments. Like that. And slot these parts down in until they all match up like that. Now again, around the front here we can also add another little line of glue just along here, just to help seal all these bits down. Like that. Just again, anything to make the model a bit more rugged. Um, it will take knocks, you will um, hopefully be playing with this model. So it will take a few bumps along the way, but if you build 
a bit of ruggedness into your models, hopefully you shouldn't lose too many parts, but do expect to lose some. So the next piece we have along here, this is the mount for the main turret, which is going to sit up on top, quite literally on top, like that. So once again, we'll just take this part and just glue right along all the edges. Make sure there's plenty of glue going down. Let's figure out the most ideal way for this part to sit down, which is going to be about there. Or it's going to be that way. It's going to be that way, really, isn't it? And possibly not. There we go. So that part's now down as well. What we'll then do now is we're going to add our turret. So the turret will sit on, it just literally just sits on top here. Um, it's getting quite difficult to show. So the turret's just going to sit there, that's easily removed. Uh, whatever way you want. There are guys that you could possibly magnetize this so that it stays a bit more firmly down uh, during a game. So we're now going to start and bring on all our little add-on bits and pieces. We have cupolas, we have little turrets and whatnot that are all going to go on now. So literally all these little pieces will just slot into place wherever we want them. So the little grot turret will go there. Our grabber claw, who's going to have to be glued down unfortunately. We're going to have him pointing off the front of the vehicle. So we'll just glue him down now. We'll just add some glue around that circular shape and we'll place him down have him pointing off the vehicle we don't want things to point out too far either side of the model um, that's just asking for things to get broken unfortunately we're going to glue our grot turret down as well have him pointing off to the side looking a bit angry at something as well we then have our commander on the turret take our turret back off I'll just glue this down and we'll just glue him into position. Again, I'm going to have him looking off the front of the vehicle, off the front of the turret maybe. Like so. So that's pretty much it. Um, we're now just going to add some of our little uh, detail parts. I'm thinking of, let me see, where could we put our horns and stuff? The horns always look cool on a model like this. Like. Um, have a look around. I think we may just put them on the turret and on the turret we're going to put them right at the front uh, to make it look bullhorn sort of idea. Now if we take one we will just glue it into place like so. And we'll take our other one and we'll glue it on the opposite side. I'm just move it back a little bit because the horns aren't quite matching up with the little panels and whatnot that are on one side of the turret but aren't on the other. So that's the kind of idea I have there, a bit of a bullhead idea going on. Uh, so with that done, I'll lift our main piece over. We'll just set the turret down, as you can see, looking quite menacing. Lots of detail on this model, it's absolutely fantastic. What we're going to do now is just take uh, our little panel, panels of runes and whatnot, and we're just going to glue them really anywhere we fancy. So it's going to be one on the turret. So we dab a glue and just chuck it down. Uh, we're going to have one, say, on the front of the dozer blade, say there. Uh, put one onto the side of the grot turret, maybe somewhere on the other side, where there's a bit more space. So there. And just really anywhere we fancy. I think we might put one on the back of the turret here as well. Just 
say about there. Try and be as haphazard as possible here. Uh, we'll stick one onto the back. And anywhere else we think it's a little plain, say on here as well, the side of the shield. And our final one, and we're just going to put on this little flat panel here. So we'll give you another final look around the model. Brilliant detail on this model. It's been an absolute pleasure to build this one. And that completes our build of the Orc Battle Wagon.